February or May. And uh, the question here is, uh, don't you think that is a form of maybe actively participating in politics, trying to eye on... No, 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 no. And I said it when I was even right there on the platform. My idea and my plan was always to surrender my party. But what I completely rejected was the coup that was planned by this government to take over my party forcefully. And I said, let the members decide. But I will not hand over to some puppet group of people, all right, because they have government support. No, that is not democracy. Right? That is not to say that I was not willing to hand over. I wanted to hand over. I was prepared to hand over. But what I found to be completely illegitimate and unacceptable in a democratic state is to be forced to hand over to a group of puppeteers. No. Huh? And I stood up and I said, let the members of Jubilee choose who they want to lead them. And that is the person I shall hand over to. And the politicians you're referring to, these were actually your allies formerly. Do you feel betrayed I, in any form? I have no issue. They are free to do whatever they want. I can't comment about it. Whatever they want to do, that's their business. Right? My issue is the membership. It is the people. It is the agenda that Jubilee went to the election with. That is what needs to be defended. What individuals do, you go ask them themselves. Me, I... I carry no grudges against anybody. And with the latest development in the party, uh, what... I do don't, please. Why are you diverting to other things? Me, I'm telling you uh, what I am here, what I'm talking to you about, is the fact that when I was president, I defended my country. As a retired man, I am protecting my family.